Welcome to Idiot's Diary. This is a C programming tutorial series. Last time we have already discussed about the operators in C. Today we will continue our discussion with the operator in C. And in the previous video we have already discussed the arithmetic operators in C. Today we will discuss the unary operators in C. In C there are six unary operators plus minus size of type cast plus plus minus minus here plus plus minus minus are also called the increment and decrement operators if we write plus 5 or minus 5 then plus and minus in this example works as a unary operator because plus and minus require only one argument or operand to work so these are called the unary operators Next type of unary operator is size of operator which returns the size of a variable, data type and constants in memory. It always returns the size in bytes. Let's take an example to understand more about the size of operator. In this example, we have already created a skeleton of C program. Now to find out the size of a constant, we write the statement printf and here we write the percent %d because the size of each data type, constant or variable will always be an integer. So we use the percent %d format specifier. Next, to find out the size of 5, we write the size of 5. Here 5 is an integer constant. To get the output, compile and run the program. And we get 4 bytes occupied by the 5 in memory. Now, to find out the size of a data type, we add a percent %d format specifier in this statement and write size of int. To get the output, again compile and run the program. As you see that the size of integer data type is also 4 bytes. Next, we need to find out the size of an integer variable. So, we create a variable a which holds the value 5. To find out the size, we again add the format specify percent %d and then write size of a and then to get the output compile and run this program as you see on the output screen that the size of data type is also the 4 bytes in memory next we want to print the size of a long integer so we write the statement printf percent %d comma size of 5l here 5 is suffixed with l because each long integer constant must be prefixed with l in c to get this output in the new line we suffix the slash n in the previous printf statement next compile and run the program to get the output as you see that the output of the long integer is 4 bytes in this compiler the long integer occupy 4 bytes in some other compiler, the long integer occupy the 8 bytes. Next, try with the character data type. We write the statement printf percent %d, comma, size of a. Here, a is a character constant. To get the output, compile and run the program. As you see that the size of this character constant is 4 bytes. Is there something wrong? Actually not. Because in C, each character constant is replaced by its equivalent ASCII which is an integer so a is replaced with their ASCII that is a 65 which is an integer constant so the output will be 4 bytes next to try with the character data type we add the format specifier percent %d and write the statement size of care to get the output again compile and run the program as you see that the character data type occupy 1 bytes next to get the size of a character type variable we create a variable character ch equals to a here a is a character constant which is stored in the ch to get the output of a character variable we write a statement size of ch and to get the output compile and run the program as you see that the character variable is also receives 1 byte Next, continue our program with a floating point data type. To get the size of floating point data type, we write a statement printf percent %d, comma, size of 
to get the output compiler in the program. As you see that the size of 5.4 is 8 byte because in C each floating point constant is treated as a double by default. To treat the floating point constant, we write the statement size of 5.4 f and to print the output, we add the format specifier percent %d. To get the output, again compile and run the program. As you see that, the size of 5.4 f is 4 bytes because now it is treated as a floating point constant. You can also try with the float data type. To get the size of float data type, we add the format specifier percent %d and then write size of float. Again compile and run the program you will get that size of float will be 4 bytes. Now we will move to the next topic called typecast operator. To change the type from one to another is called the typecasting. In C, there are two types of typecasting. First is implicit typecast and second is explicit typecast. To understand more about the implicit typecast and explicit typecast, we discuss an example. In this program, we create a variable integer a and then store the value 5.4 in a. To view the output, we write the statement printf and print the value of a. To get the output, compile and run the program. As you see that the output of a is 5 gets printed. This happens because a is an integer type variable and want to store the value 5.4 which cannot be stored in A. So 5.4 is automatically converted into integer that is 5 and when we print the value of A we get the 5. This is called implicit typecasting because compiler perform it automatically. Next we move to the explicit typecasting. In this example we create a variable of type integer and in this variable we want to store the result of 5.4 mod by 2 then we want to print the output of variable a then to get the output compile and run the program as you see that the compilation error is occurred and the error is we cannot perform the mod with the floating point value so to fix this issue we need to explicitly typecast the 5.4 into integer to typecast it explicitly we need to prefix it with the integer and then again get the output compiler and run the program. As you see that the output of this is 1 because 5.4 is first converted to the integer that is 5 and mod by 2 is performed and the result will be 1 that is stored into A. Let's discuss one more example for explicit typecasting. In this example we want to find out the average of two numbers. First we create two numbers A and B and send a simple message to receive the input please enter any two numbers to receive the input from the user we use the scanf statement and write percent d percent d comma first input gets stored into a and second input should be get stored on address of b next to find out the average of two numbers we write a statement average equals to a plus b divided by 2 because average should be floating point value so we declare the average as a float variable next to get the output we just print the value of average with a simple message called average equals to percent f and average to get the output compile and run the program The output screen appears with a simple message please enter any two numbers. We enter the number 2 and 5 and as you see that the output will be 3.0. Actually as you suppose that the output should be 3.5 but here the output is 3 because A is an integer, B is an integer. The total of these numbers 2 plus 5 is an integer that is 7 and integer integer calculation returns the integer output that is 3 and 3 gets stored into the average becomes 3.0 and here 3.0 gets printed. To fix this issue we need to convert a plus b or 2 
in float type so we convert the two into the float type by using 2.0 and then again compile and run the program now you get the output 3.5 in this program we need to perform the explicit typecast to get the result so this kind of typecasting is called the explicit typecasting in the next video we will discuss about the increment and decrement operator thank you for watching this video keep watching keep learning